Nice culture, Jarden. I mean, Lizzie told us a lot about him in the last couple of weeks. His Breeders' Plate win was terrific. We know he's going to hit the line oh so strongly. It's exciting. It's a really good field. It's going to be fascinating. We've got some big finishes here, guys. I think we're in for one heck of a ride, don't you? We sure are, Bruce. The $1 million yeah, golden yeah, gift for the two-year-olds over the 1,100 metres. Down by. Oh, 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 oh. They're racing. There's a good line out. Charlatan was one of the, the first out of the gate. So Jardin will go back to second last. Cannonball showing great muster. Cannonball speeding in the lead. By two and a half on Mount Brilliant. Snipcat pushing through. Then came Ohi from Contemporary. Bird on a wing. Charlatan further back then to Sajardin getting to the outside. No door between runners. Cannonball at the 300 metres. Two lengths in front of Snipcat. Then Mount Brilliant. Charlatan making good ground towards the inside. And Sajardin grinding up on the outside. Cannonball two links clear from Sajada the outside, Charlotte and through the middle. That's Sajada. Well, if you're not excited by that, you're not excited by much. That was a stunning race with two outstanding colts and a really good filly in between them. And have we got something to think about when we work towards that golden slipper $5 million race next March? Oh, what a race it was, Bruce. And uh, yet another million dollar race in New South Wales. Started back with the George Main and very elegant, eh, Richo? Very elegant, the George Main stakes. So, and all those races, the Epsom was a beauty. They're all great races. Profondo was outstanding, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, the Everest and the Golden Eagle, the absolute high points of what's been a remarkable spring in New South Wales. Jason Collett winning the Golden Gift, Katie, but uh, Tommy Berry was the star of the show. Yeah, he certainly was. He was, uh, I think he was sitting fifth on the premiership and now he's sitting equal third with Nashra Willa uh, after riding four big winners last Saturday. He won the first three races. This is the first in the benchmark 78 suppression for Chris Waller. Uh, then he partnered up with his, his favourite trainer, I'd imagine, is Terry Robinson. When they team up, they're a lethal combination. This was winning the highway on So Say You. Uh, the third of his wins was on Shabili, who went round favourite for Chris Waller. So he had the double there for Chris Waller. This was early on in the day so he filled him with confidence and then he took out race nine on blaze a trail for ma and eustace that was his fourth win on the day so tommy's i saw him earlier when he walked in and he is full, riding with such confidence of course he's already taken out the first race here uh, on the two-year-old so I, I think he's in for a big day and then sunday morning australian time all the eyes of the racing world were over in del mar in california for the breeders cup and uh, so many Group 1s throughout the morning. This is some win. Now, this is your beer. So the start before this, he defeated Soldier Rising at Belmont Park by two and a half lengths. Soldier Rising had been beaten by a length by State of Rest en route to winning the Cox Plate. The form reference was there, and Bruce, suddenly that Cox Plate form looks damn good because your beer was awesome. No, it just all comes together perfectly, doesn't it, Richard? And that form we've seen before with Adelaide going back, that, that form on turf in America for the Cox Plate. Love's Only You got the job done in the Phillies and Mare's turf. This is a filly that had won a group one, the Oaks, as a three-year-old, obviously, in Japan. She went to Hong Kong early this year and won a group one. She's off now to Hong Kong for the Hong Kong Cup. She's one of an outstanding group of Phillies and Mare's that are currently in Japan close to Gran Alegria. She takes the squeeze through and Mr. Yahaga, I mean, he brought Lise Grisheu Richo to Australia and the Japanese 10 other trainers have taken 17 other horses to Breeders' Cup and haven't been successful. He's two for two after the weekend. He's a pioneer a trailblazer. He's just a brilliant trainer, isn't mm -hmm. he? And then we get to the classic and this is a race that's been won by, you think of Sunday Silence, you think of Cigar, you think of Curl and mm -hmm. Ravens Pass in Yarda, American Pharaoh, Arrogate, the great horses win. What did you make of this year? Well, it's the coronation, Jason, and you're so right. Well, he's outstanding. He'd had an outstanding record coming in. He's a five-year-old. He's beating two three-year-olds, one that was first past the post in the derby. This is Nick's go. We're talking about the grey in front. He beats the first past the post in the derby and then the Belmont winner, and he runs away from them. So he's going to stand at stud now for about, I think it's about 40 grand Australian. We see